Well, that happened. The laptop shut down. But that's not it. The SSD also corrupted itself. And that's the big problem I'll have to deal with and fix in this video. After restarting it, it attempted to boot into Windows on the main SSD. But after that didn't work, it booted into Windows recovery mode. From there, you've got many options to troubleshoot. And I went through all the options, but none of them were working. Later that night, I reluctantly called Microsoft support. After talking on the phone, they came to the same conclusion that I had. The SSD is corrupted. They sent me an email the next morning with the repair price. Let me think about that. Nope. All this leads me to my next step, fixing the SSD myself. Since I know that it wasn't damaged physically, corrupted drives should be a lot easier to fix, right? My next attempt at repairing it was to install the Windows 10 installation media onto a flash drive and re-download a clean build of Windows. That wasn't working because of the encryption on the drive, or so I thought. More on this step in a minute. After giving up with that, I turned to one of the last options I had, which was to create a clone of Windows 10 on an external hard drive and boot the Surface from there. However, another obstacle got in the way. There were no other usable Windows 10 devices in the house. So I pulled out the trusty Windows 7 laptop and started cloning Windows 7 onto the external drive. My plan seemed simple. Install Windows 7 on an external hard drive and boot into Windows 7 on the Surface. Once booted up, I can upgrade to Windows 10, sign in with the Microsoft account, which will likely have the software activation key, and I'll be all good to go. This plan seemed like a success, as the external drive was all ready to go. I attempted to restart from the USB device multiple times, but based on the luck I've had trying to fix the SSD, nothing was working. The last way to save this device wasn't falling into plan, and I had just about given up until I did a little more digging on Google and YouTube until I found what was wrong and how to fix it. Remember a few minutes ago when I was talking about the Windows 10 installation media device? I rebooted the laptop running off that device and was able to go through all the steps necessary until I got to the one where I always had trouble. To fix the issue of a data corrupted SSD that won't install Windows is to delete all the partitions from the corrupted drive, except for recovery and any other system reserve partitions. If done correctly, you'll see a space that is roughly the size of your SSD labeled as primary, and in some cases, unallocated space. Click on that partition, and when you hit next, you should be able to install Windows 10 again on that SSD without any issues. This process took me about 20 minutes to get through installation and setup before I'm in Windows. Once you're booted up, in the case of most laptops, many Windows drivers will need to install so you can use all the features on your device properly. This process took me about another hour until I was able to re-download all my apps and use the computer once again. If you found this video helpful at all, please give it a like and share it with someone else who may also find this video helpful. If you want to subscribe to more tech content like this every week, that would be greatly appreciated. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Tech Device News.